Hello, my most amazing artists, and happy spring! Wait, I mean happy spring. No, I mean happy spring. <laughs> We are going to be creating a spring bunny artwork. We're going to start today by drawing and coloring our bunny, and next time we'll be adding a flowery bunny background. We'll be drawing along together, so follow the video. Hello, amazing artist. First thing that we're going to do is find the back of our paper and write our name and our teacher's name on the paper. Then flip it over like a pancake and find the middle of your page. Towards the middle of your page, you want to draw a long letter U about the size from the tip of your finger to your knuckle. Then you're going to draw kind of rainbow shapes next to that. So it looks like a long wavy letter M. Then you're going to draw an oval that angles in. So you're drawing an oval kind of at a slant. Then you can draw two circles inside of it. These are going to be the eyes. Then fill in the rest. After you fill that all in, we are going to draw the bottom of the bunny's face. How we're going to do that is measure the length of our bunny's head. And you want it to be about the same length for the bottom or the chin part. Then you'll draw a long letter U again, just like you did at the top. Now we're going to connect them with a curve. Great, now you have the bunny's face. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to draw the bunny's nose. The nose is like a letter U or a letter V in the middle of the face. Then you're going to draw a curve on each side going down and out. Excellent. Next, what we're going to do is draw a big letter U to connect those two curves. Big letter U to connect the two curves. Now we're going to connect the parts that go to the nose. But first, we're going to draw a line on top of the nose. Curve from one side of your letter V to the other. Then again, we're going to connect the cheeks to the top of the nose. Now we're going to get ready to draw some whiskers. When you draw the whiskers, keep in mind that you're going to have to trace these later. So you only want to draw maybe three or four coming out of each cheek. One, two, and three. Fabulous! Now we're going to draw the body of our bunny. I'm going from one side of the face and the other side of the face with a curve down to the bottom of my paper. Now, your bunny's missing something important, and that is its ears. For the ears, we're going to start kind of at the side of this letter U that we created. And we're going to go all the way out to the top corner of our page. 
curving up and out to the corner. Same thing on the other side, curving up and out to the corner of the page. Then you're going to draw a curve on the end of the ear, curving back in. Next, we're going to draw a big curve going out and back into our head. Going out and back into the head. Remember, every bunny will be different and that's okay. Now we're going to make a small mark or dot in the middle of each ear. We're going to go from that dot up and back in to our ear. So you see that it follows the same curve of your ear up and then back in till you reach the top. Then we're going to go from that middle part again and curve it the other way. Excellent job. If you wanted to add any details, you absolutely could. Maybe you want to give your bunny some eyelashes or a bow. It's up to you because you're the artist, so you make your own choices. Now we're going to color it in, but we're only going to do the outlines, and you'll see why in a moment. You're going to go around the ears with pink. Then you're going to choose if you want a brown bunny or a gray bunny. And we'll outline, that means go around the edges of those parts of the ears and around the edges of the head and the edges of the body and the cheeks and the chin and oh no I forgot my nose to be pink too so you see I've outlined everything in gray and pink. Now we're going to take some water and with only water on our brush we're going to pull that color in. So we're actually painting with markers. This will make your bunny look like he's kind of fuzzy or furry. painting over the top of our marker and spreading it in with the water. That's why I didn't have to color in the whole thing with marker and I only colored the edges because the water is going to help you spread the marker out. Again, we are only coloring an outline all around, making it pretty thick. Then we're going to paint over it with the water. 